Hi, this is Martha here at my channel, The Lincoln Sims, joining in with um, Saturday Morning Makes, which is hosted by Jill Norwood, uh, Julia Norwood Designs, Greenwood Girl Cards, um, and um, also with Two Crafters, One Design, and that is hosted by Melissa, Mo Creations, Gloria, Girliest Cards, Lisa, You See Why I'm a Diva. Jill began this wonderful collaboration to give us a place to show what we have made in any creative category. The ladies in Two Crafters, One Design, usually it's I, where they do select a theme or a prompt each week. Last week, it was Mother's Day. And, you know, I just didn't get it together until tonight. And this is Friday night um, before Saturday, which is the day before. Mother's Day. Um, and so I hope it's okay if I post mine a week late. Uh, this week's theme, I believe, is um, Get Well Wishes. Okay, I, it is known that I love ATCs, and I made a spread in honor of my mother. Now, I want you to know up front that this is not a sad spread, but one of fond memories and thoughts. If she were alive today, she would be approaching her 104th birthday. So let me show you uh, quickly what I used. Just this little stamp from Stampin' Up. And yesterday I picked this up because I wanted the Bible. I'm trying to open it so you don't get such a glare. From my resale uh, section of my store local scrapbooking store i wanted it just for this bible but i did use these hands and i'll talk more about those in just a moment i paid nine dollars for this set because i wasn't willing to wait till it might be there when it goes half price i got this stampendous i mean i used this stampendous this house and um one of the sentiments i used from hero arts the sentiment here and the thread I used from well when it was our daily bread Psalm 23 and this little <laughs> stamp I got at um, Hobby Lobby about 10 years ago when they had some stamps that were two or three dollars I believe from paper tray ink I got this prayer I used this prayer die our Daily Bread, this music, uh, The Treble Clef, from Waffle Flowers, the um, ATC dies, and last, again, from Our Daily Bread, this alphabet set. Okay, a few years back, well, not a few years, I can tell you specifically, in 2022, I made this spread in my journal. And this one featured my mother. And I wanted to do ATCs to sort of coordinate with that. So I cut out all of that paper that would go, go with the ones you just saw. But I didn't use it because you'll see I had to go in another direction. Okay. I just got a new internet uh, provider. And um, my printer isn't uh, connected yet. So on my first ATC, um, I saw this on Pinterest, and I it just tugged at my heart, and I, and I wanted to use this. As I said, I don't have a printer, so I had to write it, and I was thinking when I get my printer connected, I will print it and replace this, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it personal. It says, Dear Lord, I need a favor. Would you hug my mama and place a kiss upon her cheek and tell her it's from me? I just absolutely love that because I would love for him to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to put these in the sleeve as I go so you can get the full effect. I took them out so that you wouldn't get the glare. If it's taking me too long, I won't do that. All right, the second ATC is the treble clef. Uh, my mother loved to sing hymns, 
because he lives, peace in the valley, and victory in Jesus were just three of her favorite hymns. Um, the next one is, oh, I didn't even show those. I have them over there. These are some stamps. I think they're stampendous that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, a mother is someone who can take the place of all others, but whose place no one else can take. So that's that one. And then the next one. Um, my mother made most of our clothes, and I'm telling you, we were fashionistas because she was really good at it. You know, if if back then, if someone said your clothes are handmade, it was a, it was not a kind uh, compliment. But our clothes were handmade. But my mother knew what she was doing. Actually, there were people who wondered how she could afford to dress me from the expensive stores in town when, in fact, she looked at those clothes and then she went home and made mine <laughs> to match those. So that's why people thought I was wearing the expensive. But that just shows you how good she was. Okay. The next one is bold. My mother was brave. Uh, she stood shoulder to shoulder with those who had more credentials than she or more education. But believe me, trust me, she always measured up. Okay. Now, these hands. Please don't laugh in my hands. Okay. I don't know if you noticed or not, but all of the praying hands are male. And I went online last night trying to find a female version of praying hands and I finally found a digital stamp but again my printer isn't working so this one I will replace uh, but I did my best to sort of make this one look less masculine but I am 100% positive that I stand today because of mama's prayers okay the next one is the house. A house is made of walls and beams. A home is made of love and dreams. My mother always made our house so warm and cozy and just full of love. And no matter where we lived, if it was in the projects or when we later moved to a nicer house, uh, uh, to a house, um, it was fully decorated with her bargain finds. And always clean as could be. Alrighty. This is another stamp from um, Stampendous and um, Hobby Lobby. Mother, you have given your love so selfishly. You have sacrificed your time so generously. You are loved and appreciated so much. Thank you. And, oops, the last one is this. And this was the one that I was really uh, racing to get yesterday for that Bible. I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm dropping things. I um, use the Our Daily Bread, Psalm 23, here. And then I, the Bible is also printed Psalm 23. I colored the, the uh, page marker and I put the gold secure markers around as most Bibles are, and I put uh, phone dots underneath. Now, what was so significant about this, when I was a preteen, I had to have emergency um, uh, major surgery. And just before they wheeled me off to the OR, my mother recited Psalm 23 to me. So that just has a special place in my heart. Well, that's what I have for you today in honor of my mother and one of these days i think i'll just do this more make some more and do one for my dad as well thank you so much for watching happy mother's day to you blessings and ta-da